Hello and welcome to another video from Cross Country Wireless. My name's Chris Moulding and today we're looking at the HF, VHF, UHF multi-coupler. Multi-coupler, what's a multi-coupler? Right, is it just a splitter? That's what a lot of people ask. Well, no, um, it, it does split. One antenna comes in on the top and five antenna ports going out to the receivers or transceivers on the, uh, on the other side of it. What it is, it has a low noise amplifier, uh, boosts the signal before applying it to a splitter input and five outputs going to receivers. This means that you can have the same with the amplifier, you can have the same signal level that you have on the input on the output. So it's just as if you put the uh, antenna straight into the receiver. As well, there's also antenna protection on the input. There's uh, uh, an antenna protection gas discharge tube rated at 20,000 amps for lightning strikes or nearby lightning strikes shall we say. Uh, there's also a large earth terminal or ground terminal which you connect to a good ground to take any sudden lightning surges away. And uh, unusually for most multi-couplers uh, on the standard models we have diode limiters on the outputs and you may think that's to uh, avoid damage from the multi-coupler but it's actually for users such as radio amateurs who have transceivers which could transmit into the multi-coupler if they're having a bad day and just forget and key the push to talk uh, rather than just um, you know it being a minor problem it could if it's unprotected put RF into the other receivers and destroy the multi-coupler but because we have the diode limiters uh, it's no problem you know, then get away with it and it doesn't make a bad day worse. Anyway, let's take a close up of this and uh, take a look at the connections and how to uh, wire it up into your. Okay, here we are with the uh, standard HF UHF uh, multi coupler. As you can see on the output, there's five BNCs on the standard version with a single BNC on the input. On the side, there's the ground terminal, an LED and 12 volt power input. So fairly simple connections. Now the thing is we make these to, uh, to order so what we can do is to make uh, different versions for uh, different customers. Uh, recently we've just made one using uh, F-type connectors. So this is an interesting one. We've got F-type connectors on the outputs an F-type connector on the antenna input and an F-type connector on the uh, DC power again with the LED and ground stud. The idea of this one, this can replace a, um, an existing antenna distribution network. Now here's another one, um, recently made, you know, recently built up and this is a UHF uh, multi-coupler. So it has an n-type input. This has three BNC outputs and the usual DC power connection, LED and ground terminal. Now we're making uh, um, specials. Uh, what we do say is that right if it's BNC's or um, TNC's or SMA connectors we can do five outputs no problem. If you do st if you start adding N types or SO239s, we can only get four on each side. So, you know, we do make four way splitters when it's a large connector. Okay, many thanks for watching the video. 